Music legend Morrissey has done his first filmed interview in seven years and he's on top form as ever. In a conversation uploaded to the Sam Etsy Rainer YouTube channel, Morrissey savages the diversity myth, noting that it isn't diversity, it's the exact opposite ideological conformity. He was asked why the music industry and the celebrities it produces are so mind-numbingly bland. It's just another word for conformity. It's yeah. the new way of saying conformity. Diversity. You don't see anything diverse anyway. No. It's all conformity. It's having the opposite effect, in fact, isn't it? It is, because when people talk about diversity, they don't think about the great things that we don't have in common. Mm -hmm. And those things are ignored. And they always made countries very interesting, because you could travel to Germany, you could see the most incredible culture. You go to Italy, you see the most incredible culture. Now they just want everything to be the same, the same, the same. Yeah. So diversity means conformity. It doesn't mean let's, it doesn't mean avant-garde or let's mm -hmm. make really interesting, strange art. It means box everybody. Yeah. Diversity, I think, is it's a dying, dreadful yeah. word. Mm -hmm. Pin it to anything and that situation is finished. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible word. Mozart explains how the music industry manufactures artists so they can maintain total control over everything they say or do. They don't know what to do with people like me. They think, this is odd. It's almost like there's a preference to manufacture artists so that they can control... They understand yeah. manufactured artists. Mm -hmm. They can get rid of them when it's they're bored, you know, when industry's bored with them, they just get rid of them. Yeah. But you can't with people like me. Mm -hmm. Which in turn leads to a conveyor belt of boring celebrities with literally nothing interesting to say. But I think you, you put yourself out there and you step out there and you have to expect it, really. Mm -hmm. It's going, going to happen. And it happens to everybody to a degree, if they're interesting. Yeah. It doesn't happen to people who are not very interesting. Exactly. But so. the people that are seen as not interesting are often the ones that are just frightened to actually say what's on their mind and what they believe. Usually, there mm. is nothing. He also highlighted how culture in general has been deliberately dumbed down to elevate and normalise the moronic. In the late 90s, I, I was interviewed a great deal and I, I, I constantly spoke of a a dumbing down that was happening in England, yeah. everywhere. Television, television commercials, everything to do with British life. It was just aimed at the moron. And that has absolutely happened now. I mean, if you watch British television commercials, they're insufferable. Mm -hmm. The noise and the content is always the same. People dancing in six million pound kitchens. That's all people do in Britain is dance, 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 dance. Yeah. They deliver a pizza, they're dancing, dancing, dancing. It's really now moronic. Morrissey is a rare breed, the likes of which have gone virtually extinct. A celebrity who has already achieved massive success, global admiration, but who refused to become an amplifier of regime messaging simply to pursue mainstream approval. Moz has been cancelled more times than Kanye West after a late night tweet storm, but he refuses to shut up, no matter how often or how intensely he's been vilified and monstered by the media. His new album, Bonfire of Teenagers, is named after the man Manchester Arena bombings, a tragedy Morrissey calls Britain's 9-11, but one which Britain has all but forgotten about because of the politically incorrect truth about how it happened. The culprit, Salman Abedi, rescued as a refugee from Libya by our own British Royal Navy, ignored by numerous eyewitnesses, police, security guards, despite his overtly suspicious activity, right before the bombing happened, because those eyewitnesses didn't want to be called racist if they reported him. The clearest example yet of how political correctness can actually kill. Morrissey has been cancelled by the world's oldest record store, by his own record label, for daring to talk about how mass immigration has changed the face of Britain, for daring to challenge the sacred shibboleth that diversity is a strength, for daring to call out the lockdown outrage for what it was. Basically, Morrissey is based across the board, and he has been since before cancel culture even existed. And no matter how much the regime disparages and dehumanises him, no matter how hard bedwetting left lefties cope and seethe over his rejection of vacuous diversity. Morrissey remains the ultimate non-conformist, and he'll be that until his dying day. Diversity, I think, is He's a dying, dreadful yeah. word. Mm. Pin it to anything, and that situation is finished. <laughs>
This video is sponsored by Kamikoto Japanese Steel Knives. Look at that beauty. Used by Michelin star chefs around the world, the knives are made with super high quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques that date back over 800 years. This is the crappy knife I was using before, and this is the Kamikoto Japanese Steel Knife. Look at that, like a hot knife through butter. Faced with the Kamikoto, that carrot didn't stand a chance. That single bevel edge means Kamikoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge. You just can't get with other knives. Kamakoto is truly the edgelord of the knife world. Wouldn't want to mess with that, would you? Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. The knives come in this lavish, heavy-duty ash wood box, so they make a great gift too. Each Kamakoto knife goes through a rigorous 19-step process, and you can tell just by looking at them that they're top, top quality. Go to kamikoto.com slash anything goes, and save up to 85% with free shipping as part of the early Black Friday sale. And get this, if you use discount code anything goes, they'll give you an extra $50 discount on any purchase. That's massive. The best way you can support me is by supporting my sponsors.